Okay, you got Samus versus some really cool Marth. melee. Yeah. Oh shit, indeed. I'm not sure if he's oh shitting because of Samus made it this far, because we're here already. No, no, hop on with Steven. Get me out of here. <laughs> I do, but I have other things to do. Yeah, no, Dave and I can. And you and Dave are better than me and either. <laughs> I'm, I'm all right. I can certainly talk into a microphone. That's no problem. Or Manny, do you want to talk with Dave? I figured. Dude, oh my god, I'm so loud. The smell of McDonald's is like overpowering. Like, yeah, the, the McDonald's probably was finished being eaten like an hour ago, but it's like you can't. Holy shit! Yeah. Guys, open the box and it's just like. Yeah, right. Just a second. Let me let me do that. Yeah, man, and like the sweet and sour sauce. God. I just I just started a, a diet, so I'm not oh, gonna be a, not gonna be at McDonald's for a while. Yeah. It smells like melee. See you later, Manny. See you later, Manny. No shirt. You degenerate. <laughs> He's wearing a melee hell shirt. He's literally made of memes. I literally made this too. Oh nice. <laughs> See you later, man. I need to head out because my computer is almost out of power and I refuse to sit in my chair. I'm so uncomfortable. <sighs> okay. Sounds like a lot of hoopla. Yeah, basically. Okay, so this is game one. Um, you know much about this uh, um, um, Yeah, I know a fair amount. So, um, I played life in like winner's quarters. No, winner's semis. And he's, he's pretty good, actually. Um, the only thing is he's, he's not really like... A modern Marth in some ways. He kind of like he likes to run around and like swing his sword a lot um, okay. and like jump around a lot. So he does a lot of kind of like fast, uh, stylish stuff. But I think against Samus, you kind of need to be ready to play the game of attrition. Because like, even though even though Marth barely has a lead, uh, even though Samus rather barely has a lead percent wise, you know like 20% is not really that big a deal. But in this matchup, it actually matters a lot. And like all these these little trades he's getting, all these little mistakes, these are actually going to add up really quickly. Right. Uh, so yeah, like the other thing is you gotta, you can't really like go for a lot of, yeah, that's the, the kind of shit that Mark does. Uh, you can't really go for a lot of like haymakers against, against Samus. You just kind of gotta be ready to chip away at her. Um, because uh, it's like there's like forward smash, down smash. And yeah, just cause like hits for her, it's harder for her to get hits on Marth, but mm -hmm. her hits count for more because it's easier for her to take Marth's stock. I do think the matchup is a solid one for Martha as long as he plays correctly. But he kind of just like he needs to just, you know, be patient and let the hits come. Because if you try to force it against Samus, and especially like a player like Mark who just plays extremely defensively, then you're gonna you beat your head again. See that thing? Yeah. If you beat your head against it, then you're just good. Good. It's actually pretty hard to switch about that. That's been my experience at least. Um, Samus also should not ever be able to do that to Marth. Unless she like hard reads a down tilt or something. The way Samus just did short hop down air there, that shouldn't you should never ever be able to hit Marth with that. Um, so I think he needs to slow down a little, play like a little more patient, a little more reactively, and play more with the you know, like like the mindset of damage control and you know, like small victories, kinda of play that kind of game more. Which is really like how Marth tends to play against the, the the really floaty characters like you know Samus, Peach, uh, Pop to a lesser extent. Except you can kill her off a throw <laughs> with reasonable consistency. None of that shit works on Samus though. Hmm. Isn't Samus like heavy but floaty? Yeah, it's pretty weird. Um, so she can get she can get comboed by the characters who have like a really high juggling factor, like Falcon. She can get comboed by like a few characters just because of her weight. But Marth mostly th this is mostly the kind of game that Marth has to play against Samus. He just wants to get her in the air and then just keep her there for as long as possible because this is all free percent. 
You know, there's very, as long as he plays it right, there's very little risk of a trade there. So he just needs to milk that for as long as he possibly can. And then just kind of hang out. Usually when they're off stage, I like to see how many times I can taunt. But uh, <laughs> he's, he's playing it a little straighter. Yeah, he, and he's going to lose his stock there because he he got desperate to end the stock when Samus was off stage. I can hear myself cracking my, <laughs> cracking my knuckles in the mic. That's funny. Okay, we're going back to the same stage, um, no, no. which I don't really get because, like, I'm assuming that Spawn Van Yoshi's and like Stadium is available. Damn. Yeah, crouch cancel to uh, Dan Angle forward smash there. You gotta respect the crouch cancel too, like. At, if you're playing against a really good Samus, then like you still have to be aware of crouch canceling, but you don't have to like you don't have to play around it as much because if they know that you're good, then they're gonna know that you're not just gonna you're gonna respect the crouch cancel and you're not just gonna like fall for the traps over and over. But if you know the Marth proves uh, if you just keep crouch canceling my hits and then hitting me, you're gonna get free damage on me. Then. It just becomes harder and harder, and yeah, like he's he's down two stocks like in under a minute. Yep, it totally is under a minute, huh? Yeah. Got him again with the downward angle, the forward smash. Um, he actually could have tempered that, but he just his timing and spacing was a little off. You can punish those on block, but down smashes. Yeah, this is ugly. You mentioned it earlier, like how in the last game ended, he just wanted to like end, this, end the game really early and yeah. lost a, the last stock. Yeah, you know, and the other thing is, uh, one thing that a lot of people are starting, starting to do against Marth is like, really quickly take the ledge once he gets to the point where he can't, he cannot be onto the stage anymore, and he has to try to sweet spot with his up B because it usually takes him time to fall into that height where he can do it, so people will really, really quickly steal the edge from him. And he lost his stock at, like, you know, what was it, 18% there or something? Mm -hmm. It's, it's uh, I mean, it's a pretty lame matchup, but, you know, you just gotta, you gotta play lamer than them, basically, is what it comes down to.